There are so many differences between all living beings, but there's one thing that connects us all. That one thing which makes us feel brave, feel love, hate, fear, that makes us cry, scream, laugh, get mad, and feel passionate. That one thing that makes us feel is what it means to be alive, our hearts. Today we immerse ourselves in a great adventure, looking for a little heart-shaped reef in the immensity of the Great Barrier Reef. But to find the heart, we must maneuver through an extreme labyrinth. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore the planet both above and below the surface. And see what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. Look who's here with me! She has vertigo and everything and she made it! Yeah. Champion! Yeah. Yes. It is a beautiful morning and we are heading to Heart Reef here in Whit Sundays, or they call it the Heart of the Great Barrier Reef. And they also say it's the most photographed reef in all the world. So, very excited to be there. You can't tell from sea level, you know, like looking at it, that it's a heart. But apparently from the air, if you're in a helicopter or a plane, or in our case, a drone, it's gonna be a beautiful heart. And how cute is that? We're gonna take both dinghies over there and just with the drone, just have at it. Just boom, 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 boom. Taking shots, taking shots. Should be so much fun. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurry in to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. It doesn't make it easy. I'm quite excited. It looks, it looks beautiful from the drone shots. Like I, the, just the brief formations, I just blow my, blows my mind. It's so nice. I thought it's going up the mast just in case if there is any uncharted for me or whatever. We are almost there. We're probably gonna anchor here. It's a little bit shallower and then take the dinghies to the heart and explore of this area. I had a feeling, but the feeling is We're up at, up at the top of the mast here. Oh, my tour is just... Oh, there he is. Above me over there, and we're up here to spot um, the reef as we're going through. There's like this little crack in between near the heart reef, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's maybe 50 meters deep by 100 some meters wide. So um, it's pretty well marked out, but it's just good to be up here to be safe to look uh, and call out the reef as we go. So yeah, plus it's fun being up here. <laughs> Done. We're gonna go find the heart of the reef now. We got all of our toys for all of our photo shoots in the cut. And both, both dinghies in fact, these guys are coming with. We got the coordinates, I hope, and uh, we're gonna go. Look at 
looking for a needle in a haystack. It took us a long time and a few wonky heart-shaped reefs till we found the gem, the heart of the reef. Hearts are a symbol of health, and the heart of the reef is iconic for representing how important it is that we keep our oceans clean. A healthy reef reflects a thriving ocean ecosystem. What a lot of people don't know is that although much of the oxygen that we breathe comes from rainforests and other land-based plants, over 85% of our oxygen is produced by marine plants. I think it's been one of the most beautiful encounters that we had so far on the boat. So magical, it made my day. What's going on here? 420. It's 420, yeah. And I'm cooking uh, lunch and dinner at the same time because we arrived very late here from the last adventure. Um, yeah, people are starving. Some of us, we didn't have the, uh, breakfast, so it's gonna be a big thing for a big dinner for the rest of the day. It's beast! I just wanted to say that we are having the most beautiful sunset ever. That's really beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Distraction. No, that's amazing. Just look at it. And when we thought the day was over, did somebody say night dive? Enjoy it. Thanks, what would you say? Oh my god, what a dive. That was awesome. Went down and straight away we had a little cuddle fish to play with under the boat. Uh, saw some sharks, saw these gnarly ass lobsters. That was that was probably my favorite thing. What was favorite yours? was the pink scorpion fish. Uh, bye bye. So it's AM in the morning. And it's a beautiful sunrise. You can see the colors there. I'm a little bit sleepy. I haven't been sleeping well. Um, I feel like I'm having like light asleep and a lot of like crazy like dreams and everything. I miss that feeling of like when you fall asleep and you are KO for seven hours that you need to know that you have been sleeping like super deep and your eyes hurt because you sleep too good. 
Actually, I woke up at half past five and I was like, no, I don't want to wake up. I, I want to go diving, but I don't want to wake up. And finally I did, and now I was going to fall asleep perfectly, but it was time. It was like ding, 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 time to go diving. And it's a beautiful day, so better enjoy it since early in the morning. You can see the big Sundays over there. It's just beautiful today. We are all excited. Let's go and check it out. People are getting ready. Cameras are ready. Here is ready. It's a California. Whenever it's diving, eh? People wake up early. Yeah. Yeah. Excited. For work, no, eh? It's time to time. Yeah. I'm feeling a bit nostalgic at the moment. It has been a year since we left Solomon. That's right, we've been in Australia for a year now. Uh, videos are catching up quite quickly now because we film less in Australia, to be honest with you. But I'm feeling just honestly just nostalgic because so much has happened in the last year. Um, just finding ourselves, fixing up Sylvia, becoming more confident and comfortable with the boat. Um, coming just you know just, we're just getting better at this stuff even though stuff breaks and it always will and that that's just boat life I feel like we just handle the everyday boat stress a little bit better than we used to um, and what a beautiful sail we have today and it's been a while since we've had one of those so I feel yeah I just when it when it happens you just gotta like appreciate it you know you have to say hey this is, this is just magical. So, just, uh, you know, at this spot, I've always talked about building a chair and welding a chair here and like having a, a seatbelt that you could sit in and then like rough seas is kind of like a roller coaster ride. And I've always wanted to do that and I think I'm going to. At some point here in Australia before we leave, I hope that I weld a chair on with padding and a seatbelt and it's just like, you know, like the mermaid statue? It's gonna be kind of like that. We're gonna have a lot of mermaids coming in and off the bow here. So I think that would be super, super sweet. So uh, just here cruising the Witch Sunday still, and it doesn't get any better than this, guys. Like, what more could you want at this moment, right here, right now? Just, I feel very blessed to be where I'm at at this moment in my life. And um, I feel very blessed that you guys. Um, tune in each week and check out our videos and get appreciation out of them. Sometimes they're more educational than others. Sometimes it's just goofing off. Just life. We're trying to be real and just like show you what it's really like to live.
live on a boat at sea, and I hope you guys uh, are really enjoying that. So, um, hope you guys dig this episode. I've I loved it. It's, this is what I needed, just uh, scuba and film and scuba and film and going on a bit of an adventure and now to end it with a perfect sail, it just feels, feels just amazing. So um, I'm really happy at the moment, if you can't tell. And so I thought I would share that with you. And um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Next time on Expedition Drenched, we experience the bitter and sweet of this lifestyle. As we say goodbye to one of our crew, and welcome some excited new faces to the family. No matter where I go and no matter what I do, there ain't nothing like this. We have some booty session here. It's pumpkins. <laughs> One, two. What are you thinking? Ah, that's why Mar is here. No, I yeah. know. Ah, I understand why. <laughs> I, if I knew I wouldn't have gone for a snorkel, I would have just go to a body snorkeler. <laughs> and this is how a perfect day ends. 